that's his play. I mean, if you saw that walking in the wild, I think you would be blown away. All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, today is a continuation of the Main Man mini series. Now, last time we checked out Bobcats and Vietzi's Main, and today we are going to be going for an enrichment walk and discussing all things Maine with two of the most gorgeous lions you have ever set your eyes on. They are white lions named Thor and Charlie. All right, so I've arrived here with the lions. Hello, big boy. Have you been fighting again? Into the lion's den I go. Nej. Hello, big boy. And yeah. No, wait, guys. George, I'm going to need help here. <laughs> Just to keep these lines over there. You guys are nuts. Okay, you? Yeah. Three. Yeah. <laughs> sure. It is not easy, guys. Uh, this is like, have you ever heard the expression, herding cats? Well, now you know where it comes from. Uh, trying to get six lions to cooperate and getting into the car. It's not always the easiest of tasks. However, you know, um, mission complete, at least for the first three. And we'll just go and offload them and then we'll come back for Neji, Charlie, and Lola. Oh, come on, girl. I've got to fetch the others, man. <laughs> Uh, finally, the walk has started with Charlie and Thor and the four girls in tow. Um, always interesting and fun uh, to walk this group because such different characters, such, such uh, interesting dynamics. But today, we're going to be talking about the manes of Thor and Charlie. And... Uh, what do they signify? What's their purpose? You know, lions are the only big cat to exhibit this thing called a mane, this big hairy head of hair. Uh, it's interesting. It's bamboozled scientists for ages. Darwin, way back in the day, was adamant that the mane was there to protect the lion's vulnerable throat region from fighting, from warding off obviously other males coming in and attacking 
a lot of hair around that vulnerable throat region, you know, could be or spell the difference between life or death. So makes sense. Other scientists have disagreed. And uh, you know, some say it's for sexual selection. If you have a big mane, big thick full head of hair, girls find you irresistible. I suppose that goes hand in glove with uh, the fact that if your hair on your head is in good condition, tip top condition, you're probably in tip top condition. And so the females probably do find you irresistible because you're a strong, you know, hot blooded male. So they all make sense, these theories. Look at that mane. Thor is now seven years old. If you look by the shoulder there, you can see he still hasn't got mane on the shoulder, on the tricep. He's got a tuft of hair, but he doesn't have mane. Um, Thor generally doesn't have as an impressive mane as Charlie. And we'll see Charlie in a second. But look at Charlie. Look over there, there's Thor. And there's old Charlie Brown. And Charlie today is giving Thor a wide, wide, wide berth. Look at that full head of hair in Charlie. Hello, my boy. Oh, hello, my big boy. And look at his, look at his impressive mane. Much fuller, thicker head of hair than Thor. But Thor tends to be the more dominant male out of the two. So it's not necessarily about having that full head of hair. And at the moment, one of the girls, Indy, and in fact Lola too, are uh, showing signs of estrus. And uh, that is because they still have um, their uteruses in. They just had ovarectomies as to prevent the breeding but the uterus still produces hormones. So Thor is thinking that Lola and Indy are, are coming into estrus, but they're not. And so what he's doing is he's keeping a close, close eye on his girls. And, and that means Charlie is uh, staying away. Oh, slip sliding. That's just play. Gives him a look. Did you see that look? So Thor gave Charlie that stare. The death stare, hey boy? <laughs> yeah. And Charlie immediately took heed of the warning. Very wisely so. Because Thor will feel feathers to put him in his place. You see how he's put himself between his girl and yeah, yeah, he's pushing him away. He's pushing him away. You see that? He's gonna get, he's gonna get a clap. He's playing with fire. Yeah, you see what he did there? He told him, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Another one of his girls, watch. Charlie's just gonna walk away. Clever boy, clever boy. I'm also not gonna try my luck. Bit of a standoff going on here. The girls like uh, Charlie. Thor doesn't like that. They're putting him in harm's way. Hey boy, they know she. <laughs> so the last place for the hair to appear on a lion in filling out the mane is over there on the tricep, on the shoulder. And Charlie does have more hair there than Thor, but it's still not filled in completely and it won't. They are now fully mature at seven years of age and uh, almost eight years of age and that's that I'm afraid that's where the the mane is ended so you know Thor has not got the most full mane manes are in brilliant condition 
they've still got you know length and bounce to them but that will now um, start to change as they get older and older when lions uh, get older the mane starts to lose a bit of condition it starts to get that fuzzy look starts to get uh, thinner and uh, especially in the case of lions that have that typical golden rim with the black it starts to change color as well uh, interesting point uh, many people find this extremely interesting and this is why you know there's absolute merit in the fact that a mane shows condition of a lion is that if two lions like Charlie and Thor get into a serious fight and uh, Thor or Charlie are compromised they have the potential to lose their mane entirely so much so that they look like big females walking around and it takes about a year to a year and a half to grow back and that's quite interesting because that just shows everyone that that lion's not in good condition and that he is um, recovering from an injury do you see how he's chasing the girls see that totally worried he's worried that charlie is going to get something interesting that thor's following uh charlie now almost like he wants to keep an eye on him but he's keeping indy right next to his side and he won't let her you see that how interesting he will not let her overtake he won't let her overtake take. See how he's biting him been a naughty guy and Charlie is just saying okay I hear you boy he's chasing her and even getting aggro with her so that was very interesting behavior he's so aggro that he's even getting aggro with her and he doesn't understand why he's getting like this guys it's not like a, a calculated thing he's, he's smelling this thing called estrus and well it's this false estrus and this is playing with his his mind it's playing with his hormones you see how the girls she sees him on the road and she just goes another direction this is absolutely fascinating stuff for you guys to be witnessing fascinating stuff the fact that he accepts me here as a non-threatening male uh, is also very interesting because some male lions will treat me exactly the same as the uh, competitor male they won't let me near the girls and they'll try and get in between me and the girls so Thor is obviously he realizes that I'm not a threat and um, I don't pose any problem to his dominance here and to his mating um, success um, so yeah interesting stuff now many people or well, many of you will recall that we uh, went to the Timbavati, did a trip to the Timbavati to film these magnificent white lions in the wild. And uh, we were fortunate, fortunate enough to come across two uh, white lions, a female and a male from the Birmingham Pride. And he was a sub-adult at the time. He's now, he must be a year and a half to two years older and uh, if you're interested you should go and check out the the video that i did um, of my trip to angola on the members uh, channel go and check it out very interesting video uh, but you will notice that the white lines uh, in the wild just do not have the heads of hair like the lines in captivity so this has been something that has changed over time so in other words lions in the wild did have fuller heads of hair but as um, as time has gone by we have noticed they have their fully fledged manes they really don't um, span further than you know past the neck region really don't even uh, go nowhere near the shoulders you can see the shoulders moving um, and certainly they don't fill out on the elbow and on the tricep and there's one very famous lion he's about 
he must be about seven, eight years old. So he's the same age as Thor and Charlie, which is very interesting because I'd love for my team to pull up a picture or maybe a video of the lion known as Casper. He's very famous in the Satara region. Uh, Shishangan males uh, sired him, one of them. And uh, they are a tawny lion. They're a tawny lion carrying the white gene. So the white gene is prevalent in the Kruger region around that area specifically, as well as around uh, where we were um, in Ngala. So it's all, it's all more or less a similar area. Um, but you will notice that Casper has a very insignificant mane. He's still a beautiful cat. Uh, beautiful to see him in the wild but uh, he just does not have that impressive mane like this boy. Look at that. I mean, if you saw that walking in the wild, I think you would be blown away. You'd find it difficult, guys, finding a lion in that condition with that kind of mane in the wild, and the girls absolutely love him. Look at that. Don't tell Thor. Thor's gonna come check at, the, check at Thor's face. Oh my gosh. Charlie. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> He's so ugly, my boy. Come, big boy. <laughs> he knows it's the end of a walk. I can put that one there. That's a good boy. Come here, Mr. Charlie Baran. He's on my boy. Look at that beautiful mane. Eh? You know what? You're still the main man, I think. Because you've got the best mane. <laughs> Thor might think he's the main man, but Charlie's got the mane. Yeah. Look, Thor, your mane is not that bad, I must say. It really isn't. Quite impressive. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. The lions are safely back in their camp. Uh, we've had a magnificent walk. Uh, it has been amazing to just share with you the knowledge and to talk about all things mains. So until next time, guys, um, from myself, Kevin, bye. <laughs>